Aloha. Hey, welcome to Larry's Simple Gourmet Kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to show you from time to time a, a little bit of uh, how I cook, when I cook. I, d I do it a little bit different, okay? I like good food. I like it to taste and look like gourmet, but uh, not that saying it always does. But uh, anyway, I, I use shortcuts, okay? Especially for bachelor men or single women or people that just, you know, they don't want to do everything from scratch. I think sometimes it's uh, kind of a waste to do everything from scratch. So right here, see me, I'm peeling some potatoes because uh, I have a special request for some French fries. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm taping this just before Christmas, but I'm sure it will be airing after that. Uh, went ahead and kept my beard for the Christmas season, so uh, what there is of it. Anyway, welcome, aloha, and uh, heads up. <laughs> I want to share some shortcuts because uh, that's what I do, and it seems to work pretty good. All right, so um, but heads up is basically the name of my show because I want to uh, give people a heads up of things that's going on. Now, like if I was smart, I would just go out and buy french fries, but right now I'm uh, doing it kind of the, the way <laughs> someone asked me to make french fries and I am just doing it from scratch here. This particular person is kind of picky anyway. Let me step over here and get something. They want a certain way, okay? So anyway, I uh, use a kind of, a combination of things already prepared and the things that uh, need to be prepared. All right, this is my least. I like this the least, okay? Peeling these potatoes. I feel like I'm in the military and I'm on KP duty or something. <laughs> anyway, this is Larry's Kitchen. Well, we're going to just share some things from time to time. I'm going to make you uh, in future, uh, near future, hopefully, uh, some fried rice or fried lice as they say <laughs> and uh, and I have a unique way of doing it and uh, but it's good and it's and uh, it's cheaper a lot of people are starting to transition back to eating at home because uh, they didn't have any choice really um, and uh, you know there's some benefits from that you know the Bible says all things work together for good some of these things we wouldn't subscribe to ourselves right we wouldn't uh, ask for it to come the way it came but if you look for the rainbow, <laughs> if you look for the rainbow after the rain, then you can always find good things. And it's not just a positive attitude we're talking about. We're talking about what the Word of God says. The Word of God says that we should know that all things work together for good to them that love God and the called according to His purpose. So God has called us. You want to make sure that you respond to His calling because He is calling. The Bible says that He's calling all men to repent and to come to Him because I tell you what, doesn't matter how you live in this life, it can be over in a second. I live uh, kind of close to uh, where there's a fire station and out of there goes a lot of emergency calls. A lot of times it's paramedics. And uh, the Lord showed me, I, I believe it's a good practice to uh, to uh, get in the habit of anytime you hear or see an ambulance to pray for that. Because you never know. People could be seconds, minutes, whatever, away from meeting their maker. I want to encourage you, all right? To, to come to the Lord. All you do is just uh, from your heart, you say, Lord, I know I've sinned. I come to you. I, I need you. I ask you to forgive me of my sin. I receive the finished work that Jesus did and paid for me. I couldn't pay for my own sins. Jesus was holy, never sinned, and he paid it for me. And I don't want that sacrifice that he gave to go in vain for me. And plus, I want to be with you throughout eternity. I don't want to go to the alternative, all right? So, uh, so uh, you pray that from your heart right now along with me. Say, Lord, forgive me of my sin. I open my heart to you. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior in Jesus' name. And you mean that from your heart? Whether you feel anything or not, God says, you know, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Hey, all right. Okay, so that part of it's done. Let's step over here and just rinse these off again. All righty. Now, so I'm gonna make some uh, French fries. Yes, all right, different kind of French fries. They like them thick. So I'm gonna use a combination of oil and a hot skillet, and I'm also gonna use the air fryer. Mele Kalikimaka is how you say in Hawaiian. Merry Christmas, all right? Mele Kalikimaka is the thing to sing on a bright, Hawaiian Christmas Day. 
Here we go. Here we go. Da 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 da. So there's the potatoes the way that person likes them. Likes them thick. Now, we have a the deep fryer, but it's not it, it's not with grease. <laughs> it's an air fryer. Lord willing, in some future shows. And I have some tips for you. I'm gonna get into making some fried rice and get into making some other chili. And uh, chili, again, I do things kind of a different way. I don't wanna make everything from scratch. So sometimes I get things already made and that I think I can improve on it. And you can add your own particular taste and it comes out a lot cheaper. You go out and buy food, then put some, uh, Olive oil, olive oil, oh, probably straight from Jerusalem. Well, maybe not, but anyway, it'll work. I got out of a sheep. Oh, I pray. I, I work and pray, okay? So I pray, and I pray for you right now, Lord. I pray for them. If whatever they're doing this season or this time or whenever they watch this tape, I pray for them. Bless them, bless their family, their children, and their children's children, if they have any. And Lord, uh, let us fulfill your calling in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. And I pray of this food. Lord, we offer up this bird sacrifice. No, we're not going to put some cheese. I'm claiming it's going to be bird. We pray for this food in Jesus' name. This olive oil does is uh, the person I'm cooking for likes to have it kind of soft. So I'm not going to make them too brown. I like them a little browner, but I'm not going to do that. But now I like Okay, gonna pull out a few things here. Garlic salt, a little bit of uh, garlic powder. Uh, I like this stuff. You know what this is? 99 cents at Walmart. It's a lemon pepper seasoning. All right. And let's see. I don't think I'll put regular salt on it. I, do, I don't use regular salt. I usually use Himalaya saw. This is from Costco. It lasts a long time. Okay. We have chopped onion, we have parsley, we have red onion powder, meat tenderizer, Italian seasoning. We got some, oh, how about some crushed pepper? Ah, ah, I know this person likes it this way. Okay, let's put some seasoning on it. Okay, here it goes. What am I gonna have? Garlic salt, I like it. So, actually, I like a lot of garlic salt. You know what though, it's a good rule to go by. A good rule is to always do less if you're not sure, or if you have people you're not sure if they like it. You know, you can't just make things, if you're not eating alone, uh, you, you gotta make things, you know, that's appealing to other people's taste too. And some people, if it's too much salt, you know, they can't have it or don't want it or whatever. So you can always add, you can always add, but you can't take out, <laughs> okay? So, so just know that, all right? So I don't add a whole lot, but uh, enough and you kind of learn who you're cooking for too. Did I do this lemon pepper? I'm not sure. Let's do it again. No, I didn't. Okay. A little bit of um, crushed red pepper. Again, 99 cents at Walmart, at least currently. Next week, who knows? Going, whoa. All right, did I do that? I did that, did that, did this. What is this one? A little bit of pepper, a little bit of pepper. I like pepper. Nice after taste in your mouth, you know? Sometimes I think food's too too hot, and we all have varying degrees of appreciation for hot food. <laughs> but uh, of mine, I like it, but I don't like it so much that I'm, my mouth is constantly burning. I don't like that. But uh, so so, uh, but the pepper, I like it because it kind of it doesn't hit you right away. It kind of hits you a little bit afterward. But you don't want too much. But I tell you, uh, put a generous amount in there, and it's really good. I like it anyway. And my daughter said the same thing. She says. Dad told me don't knock it till I try it. So I tried it and, and that's how she eats her, her salad all the time now. So anyway, just a little bit of insight on seasoning your food. So I'm gonna use a combination of oil and a hot sauce and a skillet. And I'm also gonna use the uh, air fryer. Here we go. Sviata. Dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. Laughing all the way. Is that the way it goes? <laughs> Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Here we go. Um, 
You know, if you get down to, you don't have too much to cook, store up on some seasoning. Because after a while, if you eat one thing, it kind of gets tired. But if you put some seasoning on it, it will change the whole thing. I personally like uh, crushed pepper. And um, I like garlic salt. I like, uh, there's a number of seasonings that you can use. Let's see how this thing's doing right now. There we go. Try add a little salt. It's fire. Let's take a trip to the Himalaya Mountains, all right? You ready to go? Got your backpack? Here we go, Himalaya Mountains. Himalayan pink salt, all right. Some other is politically correct. All right, so here we go. Here we go, a little bit. This is how I do it, just a sprinkle. I should put this in a shot, soft, soft shaker, but I think I did that once and it kind of clogged up, so I don't do it. Or have it that day. So here we go. All right. Oh, you hear that sizzling now? A little sizzling? Yes. I like that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move that off the heat, turn that heat off, and uh, we're going to put this in right over here. And... Now we just wait. Now that's, just, now, that's just French fries. It's kind of fun. I'm preparing something else this today, but I'm not gonna go into the whole thing. But I will say that I'm gonna add some, I'm making some scrambled eggs and some sausage. This is just a breakfast kind of thing. You know, it's afternoon. Oh, you know, I love sausage. You like sausage? I love sausage. I like pork, but I don't eat that much of it. I just refrain. And sausage, I've been uh, getting a little bit because I really like it, but I don't go real heavy on it. As you, you want to, you should do it when you're young. But you want to be more conscientious of what you're putting in your body. All right? One of the best ways to Keep the devil of diseases out is to kick the devil out of the kitchen. <laughs> so that's one way you do it. Done cooking it. For you bachelors or bachelettes, I'll tell you some of the things that I do to help. Never get done cooking and it's a big mess. Big mess. Okay? Big mess. Okay? What I find is away after I use them. Put them away after you use them. And that way you have. I'm gonna put some more oil in this because I'm gonna use it for eggs. That way, the cleanup is a lot easier. And I even soak things, so when you get ready to wash it, it's a lot faster. Okay, so little tip there. I never used to do that. I never used to clean up right as I went. And some people just make a mess and don't clean it up at all, right? <laughs> That's a drag, really, if you're the tough to clean up after people. You ever have contractors do that or people that you hire to do something around your house? You know, professionals will clean up. But sometimes you hire these people a little bit cheaper. And uh, even professionals, I'm not sure they always do, but they should. And what they do, make a big mess. They say, okay, we're finished. And they walk out, and you got a big mess to clean up. It could take them maybe 20 minutes with their help, or 15 or 10 or whatever, but then I go in, I have to do it, it takes me an hour or more. So, uh, clean up is a part of the job. Again, you can't always do it when you're doing something and your attention needs to be on that and your time needs to be on that, but otherwise, it's good to do it right away. It's just so much easier. I mean, you get in the habit of doing it and it's not too bad. Dinner or breakfast or whatever, or go in and do the dishes, only a few dishes. You do them and it's done, see? And you rinse them, make sure you wash them good. <laughs> and then what I usually do is wash them and I, and I stick them in the dishwasher. And then after that, uh, later that day or the next day or whatever, I don't have enough to do it every day, but I uh, end up running the dishwasher. And I like the dishwasher because it sterilizes it. Amen. All right. Can't get too much sterilizing these days, right? Okay, sort of like sanctification. 
The Lord says, be holy as I am holy. So we have to sanctify ourselves. What does that mean? we got to clean up our own act. <laughs> okay, I'm, I think put my sausage away. Okay. Put it right there. All right. Okay. One of the privileges of a cook is you get to try. Sausage, good. Now put the food back. Lord, I pray for Israel. In Jesus' name, pray for Israel. Amen. Lord, you said they that pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They that love her shall prosper. Thank you, Lord. I'm claiming prosperity. I'm praying for them. That's your chosen people. And we're grafted into that branch. And we have salvation through the Jews. Through Jesus Christ, who was a Jew. Amen and amen. All right. A little bit of tidbit of cooking. Let me show you some shortcuts and stuff. But uh, this particular one didn't require it. So I'm doing it like this. All right. I went ahead and so to finish it up. Add a little bit of uh, bell pepper and some cheese. And uh, I put some parsley on there for green because it's Christmas, right? And here, how about a little ketchup for, for Christmas as well? Or the French fries. <laughs> there we go. All right, there you go. Merry Christmas. <laughs>